Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. How you doing, sis? Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully. Do what? Sin willfully. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. There remains no more sacrifice for sins. You see what it says? Now, I'm going to break it down so you got to understand this. I don't want you to walk away not understanding what this scripture is saying to you. Because you know what? Tomorrow, the next hour, ain't promised to you nor me. There you go. The scripture says you don't know the day or the hour, but he says to be ready. ready, be ready. You understand that? Watch that. Read again. For if we sin willfully, meaning you sin willfully, knowing you you're doing something you got no business doing, doing, and you do it anyway. Ready? Read. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. After receiving the counsel and the knowledge, what we're doing right now, reading from this Bible, telling you you have to wear fringe because that's a commandment. Give me that in uh give me Hebrews. Hebrews 1026. See? Give me Hebrews 1026. But see now, but we gotta be careful now because you sitting there right before the prophets quoting the scripture. And if you leave this camp today and go back to doing the same thing you've been doing, you see what I'm saying? This is what's gonna happen. Watch this. Read. How you doing, sis? Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully. Do what? Sin willfully. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. There remains no more sacrifice for sins. You see what it says? Now, I'm going to break it down so you got to understand this. I don't want you to walk away not understanding what this scripture is saying to you. Because you know what? Tomorrow, the next hour, ain't promised to you nor me. There you go. The scripture says you don't know the day or the hour. But he says to be ready. You understand that? Watch that. Read again. For if we sin willfully. Meaning you sin willfully knowing you doing something you got no business doing. doing and you do it anyway Ready? read after that we have received the knowledge of the truth after receiving the counsel and the knowledge what we're doing right now reading from this bible telling you you have to wear fringe because that's a commandment telling you you can't eat no pork because that's a commandment a commandment or shrimp or lobster i bet you eat catfish you ain't no catfish okay oh i'll pray so, so now, all right, all right, you're going in the right direction. I want, hey, listen, I want to encourage you. I want to, I want to encourage you. You got a fly, bro? You got a fly. Listen, I mean, you got to run on fringes too now, bro. That ain't just ex excluding you. That's good. Because now you done heard the word too. You understand? So that means you got to go back and do and do whatever it takes. Matter of fact, you got your phone on you. You got the phone in your pocket. Subscribe to our channel. Watch our YouTube videos. Subscribe to our channel, okay? You stand that code. One of the brothers, you got your flyer. So, Nate, 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 show him what, uh, scan the, scan the UP code so he can get our video channel. So he can know the, what, what's going on in his Bible. He can get right with the Most High God and get his friends. Read on. Start from the top. For we sin willfully. After that we have received the knowledge of the truth. So you're receiving the knowledge of the truth, my brother. Read. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. That means there's no more grace. Because right now the Most High is giving us time to get our heads right, get our minds right. So now if you continue to go on in the way you're going and you do willfully sin, bruh, you know, hey, you're playing with fire. That's all I can tell you. You understand? Oh, also too. Yeah. So now, here's another thing. You on the phone? No, no, I got you. I got you. I'm going to give you one more scripture. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians 11. Because you know, it, it says, how you doing? You over there patiently listening. I love that. I love that in you. So you don't want to, uh, you want to come closer? Okay, I understand that. Listen, when you agree, I want you to listen to this. When you agree that in our homes, there's a lot of turmoil. There's a lot of un misunderstanding, sometimes violence. You understand? It just, it, it's just a hot mess. When you agree? I'm sorry? Right. But here's why, but he, the Bible tells you why that happened. Because God is about order. I'm going to show you why. Watch this. 
First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Hey, how y'all doing, young ladies? How y'all doing? Y'all got a couple of minutes to learn about who Jesus is? Let your son know who Christ is, a black man. Let your son know that God is black. Mary's black. Moses black. Let him know that. Read. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. I'm going to read that again because there's a whole lot in that. Oh, you know where I'm going with that one, don't you? I see the smile on your face. So watch this here. Watch, listen to this, this. Watch this. Read. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. Right. Read. And the head of the woman is... The head of the who? The head of the woman. So the woman got a head, sis. Is who? Is the man. Is that happening in our neighborhood? Who's running the household in our neighborhood? Who's running the household? But see, this is why so much turmoil in the household, just because they're not doing this. Read that again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, uh -huh. and the head of every woman is the man, uh -huh. and the head of Christ is God. So even Christ got a head, which is God the Father. You understand that? So we take that principle, if we take that principle and, and, and incorporate that in our homes, Guess how much peace would be in our house? Guess how much love would be spread in our house? Guess how much love would be in our community if we took that principle in our house? Read on. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Watch this, sis. Dishonoring his head. Every man praying or prophesying. We're prophesying right now. If you bring, we speaking the words of God, the oracles of God. We're prophesying right now. And it says, every man having his head covered. That's what my brother had his head, had the hat on his head. His head was covered as the scripture was coming out. He does what? Dishonors his head. He dishonors Christ, which is our head. Now watch this. This is something for you. Now listen, this is for you. Read on. But every woman. Every who? Every woman. Read. That prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered, dishonors her head. So when your head, when the scriptures are covered, what's your name, sis? Shandali? Okay, Dolly. So the scripture says, when the scriptures are coming out, if your head is uncovered, is that in order? Huh? No, it's not. And so if your head is uncovered when the scripture's coming out, who are you dishonoring? Because remember, we told you who your head was. Who are you dishonoring? You dishonoring who? Well, who's your head? So who are you dishonoring? Your man. That's what you dishonor when your head is uncovered when the scripture's coming out. So remember that when you when you leave here. Okay, I'll praise it. But let me say you know this one. Give me that. Do the Romans 22. Give me that one. Give me that one. Come on, sis. I got it. I hear it. Hey, listen. I'm going to bring it to you straight. I'm going to bring it to you straight without a trace. Watch this. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Let's read it again. The woman shall not wear that which, which pertaineth unto a man. Now, Dolly, let me ask you a question. What do women wear that pertains to a man? Huh? Wait a minute, now you had a... Well, come on, Dolly, talk to me. We have we dialoguing now. Hey, listen. The most I already know what's in your heart. How y'all how 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 doing, family? How y'all doing, family? Hey, there you go. Thumbs up, my brother. Hey, hey, sis, can I ask your son a question? Can I ask him a question? One with the green hat. Can I ask him a question? Come on up here, uh, come on up here, young man. Come on up here, young lady. Y'all come on. Hey, sit, Dolly, don't go nowhere. Dolly, no, please don't go. Hey, listen. I know, I know. The most I'm going to delay that bus until you get this message. You understand that? All right, because this is a matter literally of life and death. You understand that? Because if the most I crack that sky and you walk around with those on, because those are underwear. If you, when you crack that sky and walk around, you walk, listen. All right, all right. So it behooves you to, to hang around for a few minutes. Hey, listen, young people. Listen, what's your name, young man? What's your name? Michael, I like that. What's your name, sis? Shakita? Okay, Shakita. Who, which one of those pictures is Jesus Christ? Watch this. Which one is Jesus Christ? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Which one is Jesus Christ? You see that? Now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Wait, give me that sign with all the religion. Give me that sign with all the religion. Watch this. See? Right. But see, this is what happened. See, now, this is where, this is where, mom, the Bible says you have to train up a child. You understand that? Are you the grandma or are you the mother? You the grandma? Is there, are, are the mother in, in, involved in their lives? 
Okay, all praise to the Most High. It's, it's her responsibility to raise these children to know who Christ is, let alone how he looks, because it's in the Bible. You understand that? This is not Jesus. This is not Jesus Christ. That's Jesus Christ. You understand that? That's how Jesus looks, and it's in the Bible. That's Jesus Christ. But we were taught this. Look, look at this sign. You see these religions? All those religions we were taught in our communities. This is what destroyed our people. This is what have you believing that this is Jesus Christ because you've been following that. Right. Those are man-made religions. Those are not in the Bible. Matter of fact, the Bible says to come out of her like the last teacher brought up. You understand that, sis? You understand that? So the Bible, so Jesus Christ is a black man. Right. God is a black man. You understand that, sis? If you got a minute, I'd like to read it to you. You got a minute? Can I read it out the Bible? You see that? Okay, so understand that. I want you to understand that. Did they get a flyer? Let them get a flyer so they can, they can see and have that at their bedside. They can wake up and see who Christ is every day That's right. on that flyer. Hey, if you want to, you can subscribe, subscribe to our channel too. All right? Read that again. Uh, Revelation. Oh, uh, listen to what I want. Uh, yeah, give me, two, give me 225. No, I'll cut. no, 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 forget that. Uh, give me, uh, give, give me back, give me uh, Isaiah. How you doing, my brother? How you, how you doing? How you doing? What's your name? Richard. Richard, how you doing, Richard? So you been hearing what we've been bringing out? Okay, did you hear what we brought up about God, the Father being the head of Christ? Give me that back, 11, it's 1 Corinthians 11. You been hearing that, Richard? Yes, sir. Okay, check this out. Now, you love the Lord, Richard? With all my mind. With all your mind. Okay, we're going to find out. How much you love the Lord? We're gonna find out. Here we go, Rich. Come on up here, Rich. Let me show you how to do that. Come on up here for a minute, Richard. Come on, how you doing, my brother? I'm, I'm, my name is Jeremiah. Now watch this. You say you love the Lord, right, Richard? Watch what the Lord says right here. Read that from the top. First Corinthians chapter eleven and verse three. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. That the head of every man, Richard, is Christ. The head of every man, Christ. All right? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. is community. Nation is children with robots. 